closing on a signal. Looks like we have company. Not sure what they want or where they can. I hear the Tanakh are fighting each other quite a bit the these days. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful of. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. Spotted one just west of here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They even set up camp in the south. Really helps. Oh wait, that's uh, the just girl we were looking for. Oh hi. Business. I'll keep an eye out for them while I'm out here. Talana. Talana, yes, to I you forgot it. her name. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Osiram knocking at your door. And you are? Mm -hmm. This is Ragard. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before he we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called the Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... Well, I guess we can rescue them, but first going. I want to get Poseidon. Anyway... Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh's territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think mm -hmm. it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine, I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Either she loves this person, or... Or... Some kind of important person. Some kind of prince, maybe? What is... Oh, okay, so my bristle bag... Drops this for me, I see. Ignoring me again. Are you lost? I will pick up this quest and then aren't you a jewel in the real? Excuse me? Hold the hammer? I know you. You're that Nora. Ha <laughs> ha! The yes. savior! My savior! Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delveware. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old secret ones. Tunnel. Lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was Hi supposed there. to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned doing? up. Shivering like a frog Ah, just a couple. Water. Only thing we got out of them was that Didn't death start and darkness stream. chased them as the tunnel collapsed. With Let me go, wide, so... I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The Didn't fight yet. There was also a body. One of your delvers, I guess, but... No sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the delve until they're assured a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the delve. Oh yeah, I had, thank you. you. But about you. worth something, right? And besides, I said that now they are trapped at home to celebrate my birthday, and then Help me get yesterday that we had a big stream. Cut you in on the fee. Probably my say? longest stream ever. <laughs> it was fun. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. <laughs> my savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. I think I will One make a video same. out of the Fall that Guys and there? Fosmo parts that and. Is? Maybe I would just do like a speed. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind speed, keeping an eye out for my lockbox? Uh, the second crew was supposed video. to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. Did I go building? I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand carved by my dear old ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. 
I'd appreciate it. No, no worries. Good luck, Don't worry still about it. Don't play the get in. Like everyone has life and stuff. So, ooh, I have a blueprint here. Let's use it. This was a bad idea. Now let's go <laughs> to Poseidon for real. I will never get there. If I continue like this, oh, but the tonic. I want the tonic. Okay, yeah, just just the tall neck, and then I I promise that I will <laughs> I, I I will go to Poseidon. Well, not worry about running out. It doesn't look good. I should check it out. Oh, big dead people. Or use some kind of harpoon to take this machine down. Hmm. I must have attacked the camp. Maybe my focus can help me figure out why. Okay. Just to turn like until she finds the next one. Yes. I love Tonic. Tall neck and tennis. I have the Lego yes, as well, so. Strip them somehow. What's up, Lily? The cook can do something with this. Uh, you can come up if you want. You're gonna destroy my skin, but okay. I have a dog. There was Lily licking my finger, which was on the space button. have to do that bro okay I have this amount of movement that's good to know so I gotta wait until it comes hello Need to bring them down so you can cut them. Yes, yes. Years later. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty. Now, she's getting close. Maybe there's one on the other side too. Nah. Or I don't know. Oh. 
Ah, uh, okay. You were right, Irina. How do I let it go? There's probably other anchors set up in the area. I need to find them. I'll use them to take down that tall neck. There's a system. Poor thing. So an override might fix the tall neck. Hold on, we bring it down. Poor piggy. Hello to you too. Huh? Oh, I was like, huh? I bet a ballista can help me fight these machines. Gotta wait. The music is kind of cool. And I suspect there is one there. I don't really see it. But I suspect that there is one there. Have to hook an anchor to the weak spots in its armor to win. Where was Poseidon? Was it in Las Vegas? I think so. So that that should be Las Vegas there. Looking pretty fancy. Here we go. One more should weigh it down enough. Machines. I need to hurry. Oh? I've already used up this stuff. I should look for others in the area. Me alone, Jesus. Oh, and I'm getting into more trouble here. Oh, my God. Mount, come help. Come. Oh, okay, that was great. Oh no! Shit! I didn't want to shoot you. Oh boy! And the thing is coming. Oh boy! Good. Oh my god, one more. Don't like you. Oh, 
We are, we're not, you're not dead yet. Chill. Go, 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 go. Okay, I think that was all of them. Oh, that's a flower. Okay. I wanna repair you before you go away. Oh, there is my ballista. What is that? Hello, big man. Thank you for the crab ray, but I'm scared that that thing is coming here. And my mount is gonna die for sure. Oh boy. <laughs> what are you doing, pigments? come closer I'm trying my best sorry about this big guy ah let's go it was a mistake that you wanted to come here boy ow Ow. Ow. Can survive a little acid. <laughs> Let's get the big guy fixed. Poor thing, I'm sorry. Let me loot this other big guy first. Machines incoming. What? There. Let me fix you, buddy. Going to the casino. underground. That's true. I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures. I'm gonna leave you here, please don't die or go anywhere. But uh, there is a campfire there, so maybe birds. That's how I planned. This one's gonna have extra. And 
There was there was something to like. Well, let's check out that place because something seems to be in here for this way at least. Was that the birds? Because now I don't really see anything in here. Oh yes, please notice me. Is that like this way? You guys will notice me anyway if I'm just like running around here, so might as well shoot you down. I don't think I'm going the right direction, so I will just come this way. You're not running away, little lizard. Water's pouring out of a building. It's a building. Oh, I better building. check it out. Someone's been through here. Oh, that looks pretty cool. The Tower of Tears. Maybe silence is here or some or sound. Hopefully they're friendly. Something behind that tarp. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, I was out of. I was so close. Oh, to drowning, maybe. Not, not to the embers. <laughs> M Moreland, it's over. Well, not for me, it's not. Then you're going to die alone because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. I 
And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life or succumb to deadly delusion? Nice poetry. <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appears. Yeah, okay. Um, oh my god. <laughs> well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. The air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm, machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> She's a stranger. You got a name? Hey, Lloyd. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um. <sighs> well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? The other guy's like. Love oh this. Head. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well, <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, eat now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. Uh, so are this those like some kind of holograms? How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver, and a true showman, and I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help. That's sweet. Of course. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. Cried the day that this one's light faltered. Oh. But there are many more below. As you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me.
How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osirum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, <laughs> sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like That makes sense. You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks and Abadund, he, well... Complains? Hey, he handles <laughs> the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Um... How do I go down again? Let's see. Oh, can I? to get all the machine Good parts. Thing that Aloy showed up. We'll see. The longer their sojourn in the desert, the crustier the shard counter's mood became. There's a big guy on the other side. I do you want to get off from you, buddy? Perfect shot. Okay, got them all. Where did the fruit go? Oh, there's something green I missed. Oh, hello.
<laughs> I think that's the hern. So I have one more left. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Okay. Let's build this thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, coach upgrade. Nah. a marvel if it works you'll let me try it i want to get down there and get those embers assuming i don't drown hmm. so what are you really looking for down there it's hard to explain something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city i think it started the flood well, I, I thought we started the flood like we sprung a trap i don't know how we were detected but suddenly the dancing lights around us changed. At first, there were lots of images. Women and, and coins and foodstuffs. And then, suddenly, they turned nautical. Waves. Fish. There was oh, that was Poseidon. And the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. For a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Oh my god. I can actually breathe down here. Pretty cool. Why the mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Damn. Poseidon probably tried to make himself like look more comfortable maybe it started right here more than 30 years ago back when this casino was still called the temple one big bet turned my fate around but now, fate's dealt as cruel as hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time, and the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die, at least I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen, what did he do here? Thank you, Yelena. Oh wait, the music, hold on. Stanley Chan, looking back. Las Vegas, May 4th. <laughs> May 4th. 
2016. 20 years ago this week, Stanley Chen broke ground on one of the most ambitious construction projects in American history, even though many Americans didn't want him there. As he struck his spade into the barren soil, the CEO quipped how resentment against Chinese political influence had turned legacy into a boiling hotbed of nationalistic sentiment, but how his immense fortune had cooled that down, finally warning Americans to his idea of a new Las Vegas. Hello, Celestias. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm party and I play a variety of games, and currently we are playing Horizon. Forbidden West. Ila sure held her breath for a long while. <laughs> I mean, she can breathe underwater now, so... We would have believed at the time that he would become one of the most beloved figures of the clawback era, but Stanley Chen has always been one to defy the odds, literally. In 2035, during a meeting with potential investors at the Old Temple Hotel, Chen watched in horror as his water filtration startup drowned for his very eyes, realizing too late that his once trusted lawyer had sold critical patient info to the competition. The resulting chain reaction of busted deals wiped him out, leaving him with only $88,000 to his name. Devastated, Chen decided to leave his future to fate. He went to the casino floor and placed all $88,000 on a roulette wheel, number 8. It hit. The resulting 37 to 1 payout netted him nearly 3.2 million! Jeez! Enough to rejuvenate his dreams of starting a successful business, he threw himself back into his work, eternally thankful for his lucky new lethal knife. Five years later, it wasn't Chen that needed saving, but Vegas itself. The Hudson crisis had strangled tourism, years of ever-increasing heat had dried out the county completely. Water in critical demand everywhere was now too expensive to import. Abandonment seemed to be the only option. The city of lights was about to go dark forever. But Stanley Chen couldn't let that happen. In five years of incredible success, he had turned 3.2 million into 200 billion, selling water filtration technology that data corrupted. So basically, he was doing some pretty good work. Oh. Mm. Maybe that's why Zeus decided to come here. Zeus? <laughs> Not Zeus, Poseidon. Oh, all the gods' names. Oh. So pretty. This looks like a big mall. I mean, casino, I guess. That looks like a way out. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Oh, well, welcome in. You gotta decide it for yourself. I don't know if you like gaming or something, but... It's pretty chill. Oh, what the fuck? Pretty chill here, generally. This place is massive. Yeah. All of it's encased in a dome. <gasps> oh, look! There is a space a space statue there. You're actually Greek. That's pretty cool. Why wouldn't I be okay? Of course, everyone is welcome here. Oh my god, don't notice me, please. That reminds me somewhat of Loch Ness Monster. Oh, thank you for the follow, Zeus. Oh boy. So, where am I supposed to go? 
Um, okay, you know what? Let me just eat my banana. Maybe I have to go up? Because like... I can't swim against this current. I need to turn back. Okay, but... What do I do then? I don't know, I don't see anything. Maybe there is something here? Can I do anything with it? <laughs> That's beside us <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> Point for the first node south of here. Well, my coordination skills are very best, though. So I don't know, Aloy. Hopefully, I can find it, but I don't know. There it is, probably. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. More machines down here. Oh, great. I'll have to swim around them. Stick to cover. Um. I guess this way? Oh! Maybe there's something I can climb to get out. Oh wait, never mind. This thing? Am I used to climb? No? I don't see anything, honestly. What's this way? Oh, there it is. Okay, found it. By chance. The primer node shut down now. I think the last time I was down here was during the Lumiogran incident. 
A malfunction led to an overflow of detergent in the pipes. Suds rose from every fountain. As we frantically tried to fix it, I looked up and saw everyone in the lobby chasing bubbles the size of basketballs. <laughs> Young and old alike. Another magical moment in the impossible city. Another recording from Stanley Chen. Oh, let's ignite this thing. Swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Ooh, what's in here? More thing to sell? Let's go. Let's see if I can find the other one. Crocodile just swimming on top of me. It's fine. It's totally fine. Oh, wait, what is this? I don't have time to read. Another access point. Should get me to the second node. I like the purple, it's my favorite color. <laughs> Mine too, actually. That's why one of my eyes is purple. I don't know how much you can see from my PNG tuber, but you can you can see more. And I use my 3D avatar, but uh, right now I can because it's too much for my PC. No, <laughs> you do. Eloy, please don't be a dummy. Just shut down the secondary node. No more water for the fountains. No more shows. No one left to appreciate them anyway. I'll never forget the city's grand reopening. The fountains have been bone dry for years. No one believed they'd ever return. So, as the first bloom arced up in the dome, the music swelling, my heart soared right along with it. The city gave me a second chance once. Now it had one, two. The domes, the water. He was responsible for all of it. I mean, I figured that much. Huh? Okay, I see. <laughs> okay. I won't budge. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Mm. Yes, sir. Ah, just uh, my trainer. Is it me? Oh, it's 
that yeah, that was smart. <laughs> to stay there. Okay. I've taken care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency purge at the maintenance station. And then to fight that big giant. And the rest of the rest of the robots machines. According to the map, the maiden stations should be at the south end of the dome. Maybe it won't notice me. There's a big guy here. Amazing. Okay, let's hide in here. I'd like to dive in next one underwater as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, I, I gotta confess, I can't really swim, so. And I never dived before. So, where is it? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Wait, which way do I have to go? Just look at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. How to get in? I lost my way. No, I can. I mean, I get that. That's like kind of given, I guess, when you live next to the sea or close to the sea or even in a country which has sea. And Greece is very beautiful, so. Especially during summer. What's this? Oh, what's that? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Replying in a sec. Damn, that's pretty cool. I was in Greece once and it was pretty cool. Okay, that's the same place. Oh boy. Please don't just make go away. There, where I have to go, okay. Move. Awesome, let's try to go for it. Uh, I think it's called Sarti. It was a very long time ago, though. Oh boy, that's a big guy. Looks like part of the building collapsed. How am I 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the way in. Where is it? And I'm just dumb. Oh yes, I'm just dumb. Let's see. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Oh, these are just herbs. Oh, I heard that's beautiful. Jesus Christ, my phone. Get the heck out of me. Let's loot around. More stuff to sell. Yeah, but I don't know if you know this game. Um, but basically, right now we are looking for one of the AIs, and he made um, he escaped here to this building, and he is the one who made all those lights and. Um, these lightning because these were some old facility in Las Vegas and he escaped here. here ah system shutdown is almost done the only thing left is to power everything down at the control center so I guess this is it one final walk down the strip, and then it slides out forever. At least I won't be around to see it destroyed. The others will be well on its way to Sirius by the time the swarm gets here. Still, my last memory of this place will be empty. A city that's already dead. Stanley Chen was one of them. The Zenith. But he did so much for this place. He... He doesn't sound like the others. I mean... So... This is the second game of Horizon. The first one called Zero Dawn. <clears throat> I will slowly upload Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough to my... YouTube, if you're interested, you can check it out. I think there are two episodes up already. And this is the second game. With a kind of completely new storyline. Thank you for the sub easiest. Welcome in. Thank you for the support. That did it. <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. Um, how do I go down? <laughs> Um, hello? Do I just jump off? Or am I not seeing something? Oh, here, yeah, I'm just blind. Am I going up? No, okay. I guess the perch didn't get rid of all of the water. It's a 
Okay, I can deal with this. However, I don't know how are we gonna fight or fight uh, against the giant monster. Ooh, this looks beautiful. Refreshing. I guess. Where to hide now? Though. these machines behind. I could sneak by them. Deal with a big one first. Oh shit, oh no, okay, well... Heaven's net laws are as fast under the water as they are on land. Oh no, that's gonna be great. I don't even know where is the big one. Use the valor, please. Ow. Oh. I don't like it here. Where is the big crocodile? There he is! Hey, chill out. I haven't even fought a snap mark in this game, I think. In this, oh my god, or you eat me? Oh my god. Ow. Ow. Okay. Let's go farther. Oh! <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh no, okay, no, don't do this. the crab wave what we doing you miss the underwater your favorite okay this was all there. covered in water <laughs> where did that machine go five minutes ago Aloy, it's a miracle oh no get out of here oh. you dummies cheese there it is big Loch Ness monster Go back! What are you doing? Was this you? I'm doing well. But at least you're doing well. I'm good, I'm good, enjoying my holidays. Decided to play and stream and hang out with you guys. <laughs> yes, this game is really pretty. 
Okay then. Yelena, could you give a shout Stay out? Up here. If you hear start firing when I engage. If you're not, that's okay. Holy cannoli. Now this beast would be awesome to be early in Lego. Mark my words. I like how the other guy was immediately running away and the other one like nope you're not running away. We gotta watch this. Thank you, Yulina. Hey, uh I have zero frost ammo. No ammo, okay. Huh? Oh my god. <gasps> what the f Stinky boy. Oh boy. What the ow wow 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 I don't have any more ammo like this Oh my god, I'm so dead. Ah, let me. What? Let me go. Hello? Let me go. Boy. He doesn't like me for sure. Oh boy, oh my god, what the... I don't have any more... Heal, heal, heal! This was a scary monster, I must say. <laughs> and welcome to the Discord, Seals. Oh god. I feel like I was shitting a little bit with those spears, but hey. There isn't one or another way to defeat this thing, I guess. What's up? I can't talk with you for some reason. Hello? Is this bugged? I guess we're not talking. Oh my god. Hello? Alright. Good talk. Bye, I guess. Come on, gentlemen, get a move on. Oh, they have to come down. Okay, that's my bad. Okay, that's my bad. Sorry. You guys all right? More than all right. This... You... We did it! 
all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little reverend. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Call her if you need us. Thanks. Good. Just don't freak out. Am I on HD AI here? Simon should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. I mean, this is quite a big thing, there. so... I should be able to use that console. I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot, but... Maybe someday, against all odds, someone will find this place again. Marvel at its lights and wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, if water can flow in the wasteland, anything's possible. He was right. Hmm. I wonder if he's still alive. Let's see. Oh, this looks I'm so pretty. To you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. I'm getting the goosebumps from Alpha this Prime. for some reason. Welcome back, Zeus. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. Okay, okay. This some reboot. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. I'm gonna check. The London crew must have had a <gasps> What the? They could carry it up. Whoa! Just so well. Look at this. Be prepared. Mm, actually, I want to make a picture. Uh, I just want Aloy to stand a bit normal. Uh, how do I toggle? Reset, capture. That'd be a good thumbnail. But it's also beautiful. Yes, Rizal, stretch! I just drank, but I will drink for you. Yeah! Ah, thank you for the feedings.
Yeah, I'm the granny now. I have to. What is this? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Oh, there's there's Poseidon. Hope keeps an extra on hand. This place looks really cool. Woman do not age after 21. At least I was thought so. Right, right. You you totally right about that. I'm still 21. Where do I go out? This... This way, maybe? This place became a labyrinth all of a sudden without water. How do I get up there? Up. Oh, there are some letters there, maybe. Also, my dog will probably arrive soon, so I will go out and fetch them. Or her. Which way do I go? An elevator. Oh. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Nice to work. Nice Does that mean I'm a figment of your imagination? You could be the figment. <laughs> to my figment. <laughs> that was a good one. Legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Right. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Emperors back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? <laughs> I, um, I hope you make it happen. 
Oh, this is Goodbye, so gentlemen. nice. This delve was a story for the ages. All thanks to you. Oh, this is so awesome. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to head back to Silga. See if she needs help with that scrambled signal first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. Like at those deep water sites I found earlier. Anyway, I thank have you discussed guys. a potential solution with him. I'm also starving. I you <sighs> to fill you in on the details. A solution? I'll check in with him when I can then. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology oh, the of her <laughs> land gods. How is your animal crossing? Sickness. Going live? Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, due to Zoe's perseverance, we may have a workaround. Yeah, she filled me in. This sounds promising. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying old world data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. <laughs> she appreciated okay. the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. That's good. That's fair enough. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. <laughs> That's really errand. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Oh? Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene. To allow him to process this on his own terms. Okay, that's all. So... About the Oh? When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths at their core have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved water to the wasteland an entire city brought back to life a thousand years later the whole place was still on standby just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up yeah that's pretty amazing when we were at the facility where we found beta there were records that said far zenith were researching embryogenesis i know they traded their ectogenic chambers to zero dawn but why were they researching it in the first place at this point, we can only speculate. Perhaps at one time they meant the Odyssey to be a colony ship, necessitating such technology. As their goals evolved over time, so did their areas of research. So they got more selfish as the risks of staying on Earth kept rising. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. 
It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. Okay. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. Let's talk with the others. Before, but looks like it's malfunctioning. Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac! Daddy sure does love his little big man. This one! She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. This one, this is the first thing that we ever saw in the first game. I used to watch this a lot too. Hi. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little bit. But, but it's a kind of out of it. Hi, Yashu. How are you doing? While you were gone, yeah. I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus. They're studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. Like I'm with the stream and now we have a new Eloy. I will explain it to you, Rizzo. Benefactors. <laughs> and promised I'd meet them someday. When I had learned enough. And then... One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me. In a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? Maybe. Well, I can hear Elizabeth. My parents were on the side of a cliff above the sea. Damn. So, Riza, the thing is that there are some group called Far Zenith, and they were building like a big spaceship, which would take the rich people from the Earth to try to settle somewhere else or maybe in space and it's supposedly blown up yes so they lied about that so everyone thought that the Odyssey project blown up so no one survived but apparently that was a lie and they did survive and they did make a colony in a different planet i forgot the name like hundred hundred like thousands like kilometers away in space very very far away <clears throat> and now apparently something went wrong with their colony and most of the people died there and they traveled back with a clone of elizabeth sobek to restore Gaia as well. Serious star system, yes, thank you, Nyashu. <clears throat> and they traveled back here to get control of Gaia and restore her to destroy everyone and everything on Earth again so they could reboot it itself for themselves. Again. 
And these people, these very futuristic looking people, are the same people who traveled back. So they lived for thousands of years somehow with their technology and they came back. That's all we know now. I don't know more either. And please, if you know more of the story, keep it spoiler free, okay? Um, but this is basically in a nutshell what happened. And this clone, this is a clone of Elizabeth Sobek, another clone. And she escaped from them and we recovered her and she's kind of like very scared and timid for a reason. Um, yeah, that's all we know. And we are trying to work together with her. I may strike them with my thunderbolt. <laughs> what else can you tell us about Tilda? She liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything oh. else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it. To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. Maybe she's gonna be our ally later. We'll see. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. Aww. I never wanted to leave. Maybe she was some kind of mother figure for her. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. Well, she's very scared, Zeus, because basically they created her for one purpose. They locked her away from everyone. They was never able to um, really talk with real humans. Just... Um, with two specific training programs. They never let her really learn everything, just the things that they allowed her. So basically she was like some kind of prisoner. She never had, you know, like a real life or family. Um, so yeah, it's kind of messed up. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later she cut you off. 
But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. I acted like the data channel never existed. I think she was trying to protect matters. you, girl. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. I'm not so sure about that. Let's leave it at that, then. But also she's like in a completely new environment, cut off from everything that she knew so far. So it's very complicated for her I'm right trying, now. Laurel. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. I'm sorry, she's had a rough time, but she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the Proving Lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. So Aloy has her own problems and traumas that she doesn't want to deal with. Which is, like, fine, but you gotta have to face them at some point, girl. I hope she will. I hope she will. Oh wait, what? What is this place? Was this here before? <laughs> oh. That was a shortcut. You're doing this for the team, Aaron. Come on. Looks like I was able to unlock that door. This door? There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia, who was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast seed banks. From here, control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see. Oh. What's this? this console? There are still thousands of plant samples stored deep below the facility. I could ask Gaia about them the next time I talk to her. That's pretty handy. I've been tackling the design of the Ag Lab. Place is gonna have a lot of seed stock to work with. My favorite? Sample 626. Calotropis gigantea. The crown flower. We used to have one in our backyard. Butterflies always fluttering around. Every morning, August would run out there to check under the leaves. See if any caterpillars turned into chrysalises. Now, I'd like to imagine that the future will be filled with them. Hopefully I can save the world. Pretty cool. Now let's talk with everyone. Let's talk with Aaron. What's up? Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down in that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the Tanakh rebels, and it also has to do with the Osram. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. I promise. 
So, you've been sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I <laughs> thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holo films, like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. Uh, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. <laughs> what are you reading next? The important things for also, Aaron, a guy right? Added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Yeah, it reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in storm burn plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do with a spark. And a boom. <laughs> Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. <laughs> I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just uh, try not to get hurt. <laughs> I see someone's been playing strike. I'm just trying to get some practice in. Helps take my mind the off things. True pronunciation you should of try playing Katalo. Like... It's a Tanakh game. Maybe you'll learn something. Oh, uh, sure. Tanakh. Yeah, sure you yeah, won't the try AI and kill me if I win. Pretain. Pretty sure. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm going to stick with Gaia. <laughs> Do I smell ale? Yeah, I brought some over from Chase. My, my brain can't hey, with everything comprehend. That's been going on, I <laughs> we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. Hey. I discovered an Osram militant group. They call themselves the Sons of Prometheus. It looks like they're the ones overriding machines for the Tanakh rebels. I thought that was something only you could do. They're familiar with ancient tech. And they're as anti-Karja as it gets. So... Sons Last of year, Prometheus. we stopped Durval okay. and his cronies from blowing up Meridian in retribution for the Red Raids. And now you're telling me we have another group of Asaram trying to wipe out the Karja with... with an army of machines and bloodthirsty Tanakh? Pretty much. Oh, well, that's just great! Is there any way you can help me find out who they are? Anything to track them down and stop them? Yeah, I can send out some messages from Chainscrape. Get in touch with my contacts in the claim. See what I can find out. I'd appreciate that. Okay, let's play strike with him. I see you've got strike set up. Mind if he I he will probably beat my ass, really? but uh, sure. We'll uh, see how much it. I remember. Oh, I have a new piece. Um And I cannot do more Mm, 
Or actually, maybe one more. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Let's see. I don't even remember. My turn. <clears throat> Whoa, what is that? I don't have that. Press and terrain. Oh. He, he has some... Big machines, not gonna lie. Let's see what you got. Oh boy. Long leg. Gunner type. Glint talk. The hell? Oh boy, here we go. Oh wait, I have to. Okay, okay. I can do this. What the? It goes. What the? That one's a goner. What the? Why can't I attack? I don't understand. Oh boy, okay, this is not... Not going well. Why can't I attack? Oh well, cool. Ah, uh, gonna have to rethink my strategy here. Oh shit! That was not good. What should I do? Uh, that doesn't matter. For some reason, I couldn't attack. Yeah, all that. yours. I don't know why. Like, you see, I cannot attack it. I don't know why. I'm still confused by this game. And it's out. I he he has way stronger pieces than I do. Off the board they go. Maybe I can only only attack that piece when I'm from its side? No, I- oh my god. Okay, no. Boy, this game is gonna be the end of me. Let's see. And they're gone. I'm done. Are you done? Oh, 
Oh, I have one more piece. Wait, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I see, I see. My turn. I knew I had to win at some point. Let me know if you want to go at it again. He annihilated me. <laughs> Let's retry. One more, one more, and then I will leave. He, he will probably win. Yeah, his pieces are stronger than mine. That's for sure. Time to make a move. Your turn. You see, but I can't attack him still. Even if I move there, like, I just can't. Like, oh, wait, maybe. Okay, maybe. No. Hmm. Okay, let's attack it. I see. Okay, well. Let's see. Maybe I can only attack it from the same terrain? Ouch. Turn. And they're gone. There it goes. Turn. I'm doing a bit better. Mm. Damn, that piece has Good nine. Me you hit that armored spot. Nine, and that's like eight HP point. What the fuck? That's overcharging. Keep hitting those armored spots. I might have a shot of winning. Oh shit, yeah. Okay, well, that was dumb. That one's a goner. Oh no. All yours. Okay, I can do this. Let's see what you got. Wait for him to move. Hey, I'm done. You won fair and square. Guess I have to step up my game. I did it. It was so random. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I will. Ring, well, whatever. Let's go. <laughs> Back to business then. Yes, yes. That, that was fun. Back to reading, I guess. You be careful out there. Let's talk with hey. the lovebirds. Got a sec? Of course. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, <laughs> stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. 
<laughs> That's not how it was born. I was training. Discovering Those were real animals. Every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. <laughs> then So said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. Anything we should know about? Zo and Aaron tried to beat each other up. What? <laughs> Aaron made some jokes about the Utaru, called them twigs or something like that. So she challenged him to a sparring match. Turns out that Utaru speed is a pretty good match for Osirum Brawn. Things ended in a stalemate. Now they spar once in a while to see if they can break it. Well, let me know how it goes. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zeniths. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long. It doesn't seem natural. Yeah. Yes, it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding. Any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith? Yet allow them to capture you. With silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda that Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm yeah. doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The sacred lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. Yep, I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. Ah, I, I don't like that Aloy friends we'll him. I Hades. like him so much. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well. But Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this... Hephaestus, and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our 
whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently, there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them, even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Mm -hmm. Her memory honors them. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... museum? From what I gather, the old ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from, like you've done here for us. Maybe one day more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. <laughs> one day, maybe. Let's see what happens at the end. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. Yeah. Are you guys training with Erend as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. I've been told. Please tell me you weren't being serious, though. Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. <laughs> I kind of love her too. Can help with around here? Hmm? Oh no, we're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering, what do you know about his mother? Oh, that. Oh bad. yeah. Why do you want to know? He's She's up his sister, Vala, a tough cookie. I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. Because he has a number on Beta. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's despicable. That's an interesting way of thinking. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, 
I buried the seeds of the Fallen. That couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... Oh. There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. Wow. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. That's pretty epic. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Damn. She went through a lot as well. Good luck on your search. Thank you for the lurk, Lisa. I have no idea. That's where Gaia is. Like some kind of maintenance space. Ooh, how like this? Oh no, I haven't used this weapon for a while. I wonder where this leads. People, people. What am I doing with the power cell? Oh. 
I did it. Uh, Aloy? A bunch of lights just turned on up here? Was that you? <laughs> oh. huh. Yeah, I guess it was. Did you want something? Hey, I just, uh, wanted to see how you're doing. I'm fine. And look, about earlier, forget it. Was there anything else? Let's talk so with her as well, Ludo. Able to make use of your expertise? I guess so. Gaia transferred a lot of data on Hephaestus to study. And? Any insights? It looks like it's been modifying its code, increasing in size and complexity over the years. There's a lot to analyze still. Okay, well... Keep at it, I guess. Yeah, this like the the interaction between these two is really awkward. Like, I mean, I guess, uh, like, I understand why, but still, it's just like so funny to watch. At all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but it's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. So, hmm. Oh, wait, did I ask this? What else can you tell me about Tilda? She liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever? Talk about her life on Earth, how she joined I, the Zeniths. We are the Hurtleys. So, I don't know. Maybe later. It's time for me to go. I'll check on you later. Yeah, sure. I think the problem is that she doesn't... How to say... It doesn't believe that we actually want to talk to her for the sake of talking and like get to know her and stuff like that so she's very reserved she's like completely understandable where are you my guy keep looking for you stay the same no matter how much time oh there like you are holograms are working now I have oh. repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful war map. Mind if we have a word? Of course not. You said you were training with the focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Must be strange, seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. Mm, give me a sec. I have to check something.
I had to check my dog eye, sorry. Wait. Dog's eye? <sighs> okay. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations. I'm getting paranoid with the an ticks. acceptable training facility. But we could use some more color. Duly noted. Color, okay. I mean, more purple would be nice. Spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the ten themselves. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Ah, uh, thank you. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it. But its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? <laughs> That's a good answer. Fine. Yes. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side. Really? Allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Cool Root by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I see. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him... That bastard. I, I don't like him either, Never don't worry. To him. But I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal and never looked back. Oh, I'm this guy. To go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the wings of the Ten. 
Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. Deca, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky. For us to imitate this Many times I I it big. Thank you for the crab rave and the hydrate. The feeling of freedom. What are you doing? And the awe it must have inspired. Dad, oh no, you had a long day at work. What did Chief Akaro I hope you can chill now. Told him he'd be joining have me some here. good food. You spilt rebel blood at the cake. grove and helped reunite the I clans. don't have there was any more cake. little more to be said. He understood. I ate everything. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. I still have my cider, which I was supposed to drink yesterday, but I didn't. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna do that today. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. No cake anymore. I mean, like, we had the cake on Saturday. Oh, <laughs> no. 